Today, we journey back to 202 BC to the pivotal Battle of Zama. This was a decisive clash between the Roman army led by Scipio Africanus and the Carthaginian forces commanded by the formidable Hannibal. This battle played out against the backdrop of the Second Punic War, a time when Hannibal had already marked several victories against Rome. However, Scipio Africanus had a strategic ace up his sleeve. He chose to invade North Africa, a bold move that forced Hannibal to abandon his campaigns in Italy and rush to the defense of his homeland, Carthage. Join us as we delve into the tactics and the drama of this historic clash. The Battle of Zama began with thunderous charge of Carthaginian war elephants, a sight to behold. These beasts of war were a terrifying spectacle, charging towards the Roman ranks with a force that could shake the earth. But the Romans led by Scipio, Africanus were prepared. They repelled the elephant charge using their formations to create channels, diverting the elephants away from their infantry. With the elephants out of the equation, the Roman cavalry seized the opportunity. They launched a counterattack, routing the Carthaginian cavalry in a swift, decisive move. The battle was far from over, though. Now the infantry lines of both armies clashed in fierce combat. The Carthaginians, led by the formidable Hannibal, initially pushed back the Romans. Their war, hardened soldiers, burnished by countless battles, seemed to have the upper hand. But the Romans wouldn't be subdued so easily. Rallying under Scipio's leadership, they fought back with renewed vigor. The Roman infantry stood firm, matching the Carthaginian force blow for blow. The battle raged on, a brutal dance of steel and flesh, of courage and fear, of life and death. With the Carthaginian cavalry out of the picture, the tide of the battle was about to turn. The Roman cavalry returned to the battle, battlefield sealing the fate of the Carthaginian army. As the dust settled, a wave of realizations swept over the combatants. The Romans, though outnumbered, had turned the tide. With their cavalry back in the fray, they launched a decisive charge that shattered the Carthaginian line. The battlefield, once a scene of fierce combat, was now a testament to Roman tenacity and tactical genius. In the wake of this decisive victory, a peace treaty was drawn up. Carthage, once a formidable power, was stripped of its territories. Rome, on the other hand, emerged from the shadows of the Punic Wars, its political dominance unchallenged and unquestioned. The Battle of Zama was not just a military victory, but a statement of intent to the world. Rome was no longer just a city-state, it was an empire in the making. The effects of the Battle of Zama echoed across the annals of history. You, In the course of a single day, the balance of power had shifted. The Roman Republic, buoyed by its victory, began a period of expansion and cultural development that would shape the course of Western civilization. The Carthaginians, on the other hand, were left to pick up the pieces of their shattered empire, the significance of the Battle of Zama cannot be overstated. It marked the end of the Second Punic War, yes, but its implications were far-reaching. It was a turning point, a moment in time that set the stage for Rome's ascendance as a global power. And so the Battle of Zama marked not just the end of the Second Punic War, but a turning point in the ascendance of Rome as a global power. From the dust and the din of the Battle of Zama, a new world order emerged. This decisive clash marked a pivotal moment in history, Rome's victory over Carthage cementing its political dominance. The battle showcased Roman resilience and strategic brilliance as they turned the tide against a formidable Carthaginian force. Indeed, the Battle of Zama didn't just end the Second Punic War, it reshaped the ancient world. 